We're here at Boardmasters with Girls Next Door. Hello, girls. Hello. So for anybody that's not come across you before, do you want to tell us a bit about yourself? Yeah, well, um, we are a trio. Um, I'm a DJ, Mila is a vocalist, and Maddie is a rapper slash MC. And we came together about um, a year and a half ago, and we started Girls Next Door, Lovely. and here we are. You've been busy girls at the moment. I feel like you've literally done every single festival on the circuit. <laughs> Has there been a standout moment so far? Oh, Glastonbury. That was yeah. our standout Glastonbury. moment. We loved every second of it, and we were just so chuffed on year one of our group to play Glastonbury. Yeah. Absolutely buzzing. That is iconic. <laughs> if it's okay with you, we're going to do a quick fire song challenge. So you've just got to tell me the first song that comes in your head. It doesn't have to be okay. any thought behind it. So what is one song that you play that never fails to get people dancing you go first I'm, still oh, I'm the DJ so I'm the one that's gonna have to answer this um, one that, oh my goodness oh my goodness um, I think disconnect by Becky Hill at the moment yeah. is like the big the big banger that everybody loves um, we do play it in our set we've got our own little version of it uh, we'll switch up a little transition but yeah, yeah I think it's like a proper hands in the air moment of our yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd say that one, but I would also like maybe at the moment I'm really enjoying Party Right when that comes in. Yeah. Like, I just feel like it starts, but like Mila brought that one into, didn't she? She was like. That track is uh, original by Flavor D. <laughs> Shout out. What is your ultimate breakup song? I'm, I'm going to say Pack Up Your and go <laughs> uh, is it Cat Burns yeah because do you know what I actually did go for a breakup a couple of years ago and that yeah. tune had just come out um, and it was quite emotional actually I think if you were going through it at the time yeah there was a lot of girls and you know I'd play it and I'd be like <laughs> yeah. um, and I could see all the girls in the crowd like some people I feel like that track really resonated with yeah mm. that's like emotional mine's more like get in the bin <laughs> no scrubs TLC <laughs> girls next door remix like yeah. you're no good get in the bin <laughs> I would have to say, for me, it would be single by Natasha Bedingfield, just yes. because there's nothing better than screaming you're single after a breakup to make you feel a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the next one is, what is a lyric that you've only just discovered you've been singing wrong? Um, no, we've got one of them. What was we saying? Because Mila's got a new tune out called Savage, and we were like... Management. It was um yeah we was we were saying pardon my language. What's your what's your link L lyric for lyric for savage? Pardon my manners. Yeah, and we were saying pardon my language, <laughs> and then we were singing it on stage, and then we were like we don't actually know the words to this. I think I said menace. I was calling it menace. That was the word. Something about a menace. I don't know what I was saying, but we learnt it now, so that's why yeah. we can't remember. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I've got a feeling this might be the same answer as earlier, but what is your best crowd at a festival circuit? Do you know what? I don't, yeah, I'm going to say Valley Fest last right? week. Yeah. yeah, that was amazing. Like, it was empty, and we thought, oh, God, is anyone going to show up? The minute before we walked out, it just absolutely packed out and we're like where's everyone come from and the energy in that tent was 10 out of 10 yeah. it was amazing <laughs> it, 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 got one. Go on. oh, I'm sorry but do you remember NAS festival oh, when yeah. we filled it up yeah, that was yeah. that was amazing it started with nothing and we ended up filling out the whole hangar oh, and yeah and we were really that was like one of our first was that one of our first shows yeah first big festival so yeah yeah that was amazing and I think what those have got in common is it was quite a young crowd and I think we really like playing to the really young crowds yeah. we played at Supersonics in Birmingham as well at an under 18s event that was another and moment. they were absolutely having it so yeah. yeah I think that's kind of like uh, yeah they're, they're not afraid to go off better. more yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you got a go-to karaoke song? We have. What me and Maddie <laughs> sing in the car. You've not heard us. She, 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 obviously she's a singer. She hates my singing. But do you want? To, we cannot sing. Like, we can't we sing. Can, we, we can. We can. In the no, car, you can. Not this song. <laughs> it's uh, "Don't Stop Moving" by S Club Seven. <laughs> When it comes on the radio, we're like, oh my gosh, this is our jam. So that I have a dance routine for it, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> what about if you sing it, like how you sing it in the car, Maddie? I don't think this interview would last very long, though. 
um, we're, we're really bad at singing. What about you? You must have a, you know, she's the singer. No, but I don't really have one. I'm rubbish at karaoke. I get really nervous at karaoke because if you're a singer, everyone's like, oh, you've got to be really good. And I'm yeah. like, oh God, oh God. I don't have one. We do do a, no scr- a remix of No Scrubs within our set and yeah. you sing that really good. So maybe that could be your karaoke song. Thanks, mate. Really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you don't know whether to like proper go for it or like do the karaoke voice yeah. to everyone Yeah, else yeah, does. yeah. And it's almost like if you are in tune, it's like, ooh, boo. Yeah. Like boring. Yeah. Karaoke should be a bit rubbish. That's the yeah. point. Isn't it? Well, when me and Maddie do Don't Stop Moving, it's like we try to sing like the worst that we possibly can. And it like, yeah. It sounds, it sounds, like, a, it's, it sounds like a cat, doesn't it? A squealing cat. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you got a latest music discovery that you've just obsessed with at the moment? I'm going to say Savage by Mila Falls, which came out last Friday. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. We've put it in our set. I'm not even plugging here. Yeah. No, you're right. Like, we, we, I absolutely, that's yeah. my favourite new tune at the moment. Honest, I didn't even ask you to say this. Promise. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to... five up. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, we, we were talking just in the, we were literally yeah, talking we in the saying. caravan like five minutes ago and we just started like singing it and belting it out <laughs> and we were like, oh, we love this. We love it. Girl, and then fans. my favourite is Girls Next Door Pendulum, new one coming soon. <laughs> Just uh, that was a plug. <laughs> yeah, definitely a plug there. Oh dear. <laughs> and finally, on the lineup today, who would you recommend for people to see? I recommend the Sicker Studios Takeover. <laughs> I'd also recommend Mandy Dextrous. Yeah, definitely Mandy Dextrous. And then tomorrow, 24 hour Garage Girls. There nice. we go. That's what we're going to be doing. Thank you so much for your time Thank today. Thank you Look so much. To seeing you set later.